How's it going everybody? I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today we're going to do a little deep dive into the navigation in version 9. First of all, some of the big changes are that the navigation menu, when you go to a, a destination, all your directions are on one side, on the left side now, so you can easily see them. The screen is still dynamic where it changes very, very quickly to show you your map on this side. Your directions get smaller to show you a bigger map on this side, which allows you to move around the map. If you hit the little icon button, to show you the whole the whole route it expands this out again one thing they didn't add yet is picking your own directions so say so say i want to take this road over i can't actually select that road to actually do that or nor can i drag this road if i hold down if i hold down i can't drag that over to where i want to go it doesn't show you multiple directions yet but I think that might be new. I've never seen that before, where if you hold down and navigate to that. That might be new, that might not be, not positive. I've never seen that before. On this side, you have your plus and your minus, and of course your maps, as far as if you want the Google Earth or just a white map. And, just, and a lot like before, your traffic, where it shows you if there's a lot of traffic and superchargers. It shows you a list of superchargers. And then it also shows you how many people, uh, just like before, it shows you how many people are actually at that supercharger. Right now it shows there's zero, but you can navigate to any one of them. So say the Hickory one. Once you actually click one, it doesn't say who's actually, if there's a lot of people there or not. It's 32 miles, 42 minutes. But if you expand this out, It'll tell you at the very bottom that you'll get there with 44% battery left. And you can easily just cancel that. Let's go back to that. You have a gear button. And then you can actually get to those. Use HOV lanes. That's always nice to have if your state allows you to ride in the HOV lane. And in the settings, if you go to navigation, as that little gear button, it shows you the same thing in the settings. Now you can change the route if, it, uh, if you like to have it save you 15 minutes or so you can actually change that that's how you change it if you'd like to avoid ferries or tolls toll roads you can do that as well here one of the great features now is you can send from your phone or tablet directions to your car i have my ipad mini here i'll we'll put this on the screen right here i'm going to click this address this is where i, I just got my windows tinted today sun stoppers and there's their location in cornelius awesome job Right here, if you hit the share button, it's gonna pull up the screen. And you see right now it doesn't say Tesla. Well, you hit more and it shows you the different options. So you have to enable that in the Tesla app. And then once it's there, you hit Tesla and it's gonna be sending it to the car. And all of a sudden it shows up on the screen here, which is really nice. So even if you're in the car, it'll do this. So you can be looking at it on your phone, send it over to the car or anybody in the car that has the app can actually do that as well. Or if you do this in the house, once you get in the car, it will actually populate here where you're going. Really cool, really nice how that actually uh, happens. It's very seamless. Right away when you get in the car, uh, it shows up the navigation, where you're going, how long it's gonna take you to get there, and it calculates it from there. Very, very nice. Another nice feature in the directions, it just says home and work now. It doesn't actually say the addresses before it would show the addresses. Uh, your favorites show up here as well. It kind of breaks down where you've gone in the past so you can easily go through and use those. And as always, you can use the voice activation feature to actually say any address. Navigate to Harris Teeter Grocery Store. It's actually going to search all of them in the area um, by distance labeled here. And all you have to do is just click one and you're on your way. 
I like how the map is done. My only gripe with uh, with it is a lot of people have the same one. Uh, you're not able to pick the directions that you want. Like I mentioned before, you're not you're not able to pick. Say, hey, I want to go this road and drag it over there. Or even in the app, if you pick the, a certain one on the app and send it to the car, is you're not able to pick it. It's actually just going to use its navigation, which is Google. Uh, this map data is from 2018. It's Google and another uh, navigation app. I think they use Google for the mapping. I, th I think they use TomTom. Tom. I'm not mistaken, but I'm sure if I am, someone will put that in the comments below. That was just a quick little video about the navigation in version nine uh, in the Model 3. I do like it. I like how, I, how it's not much different, but there's a lot of nice features, how everything is to the left, easy to see while you're driving, yet the map is adjustable uh, and all that. It's a ni nice work. If you're looking for a Tesla, use my referral code. You can get $100 towards supercharging on any Tesla, Model S, Model X, or, or any Model 3. My link's down below. It saves you some money and gets us closer towards that Roadster so I can bring some epic content with the model with that Roadster traveling all over the place. That's going to be awesome. As always, stay positive, stay awesome, and I'll catch you on the next one.